Here's an introduction to a 3D printable robot chassis uh, designed for the Adafruit Cricut boards. These are boards that help you drive motors and servos and more with either the um, Microbit or the Circuit Playground Express or other devices. The concept here is that you print the two pieces upside down and you zip tie your motors, a caster wheel if you're using it, to the bottom and then you zip tie the two pieces together. You can find my project in Tinkercad where you can copy it for yourself and then um, either print as is or uh, make alterations uh, to customize. On the right is the hardtail version so you wouldn't need a caster wheel and on the left is one with holes spaced 40 millimeters apart so you can zip tie in a caster wheel if you're using one. Either way, you're gonna to wanna to flip the design upside down uh, before printing it either in Tinkercad or in your slicer. Also keep in mind that the holes for the uh, motors cannot be scaled, so they can't be scaled and anything that they're grouped with cannot be scaled. To assemble, I just took the, the motors, I ran the wires of the motors on the inside so they wouldn't touch the wheels. I used small red zip ties to secure the small holes in front and then larger white zip ties for the mid portion, small red zip ties for my caster wheel. Again, the hardtail version would not need that. And then I'm just threading a large zip tie up through um, the front. And I'm going to secure that in the bottom, but I won't over tighten it. I'm just going to snug it down enough so it's secure, but I don't want to uh, really overdo it. It can be helpful to use needle nose pliers though, just to get a little more uh, leverage. But again, I wouldn't over tighten um, any of these, but particularly this one. Then you can trim the excess off your zip tie. Securing the Cricut itself is the same idea. Small uh, zip ties, just a couple of them would do the trick. And they'll secure your Cricut on top. And then you just get a five volt power source of choice for the, for the mid-level there and um, you should be ready for some robotic fun.